if we want to test um, the correlation uh, classically, and again the difference here then is that in our all our classical hypothesis tests, we assume we know the values of the population. That's the null hypothesis. Yeah. So we say, for example, the population has zero correlation. We know it. We take it as a fact, and every computation is based on this assumption. Then we can compute the, uh, the standard deviation for our measured correlation coefficient of the sample that's computed like this. And with the standard deviation and the R, we can compute the, um, the T score, yeah, for example, um, that uh, obeys the student's T statistics and the degree of freedom is N minus 2. This is if we test against no correlation. If we want to have the general case, so test against some particular value um, that is not zero, then um, we, we have to use this scheme where um, the measured R is computed, uh, is converted by the so-called Fisher's transformation into a C value, so that's taking here the arcus tangens hyperbolicus. The mean value for the um, things is, uh, is computed like this. And then and the standard error is um, 1 over uh, square root of n minus 3. And this then can be used to compute a c-score. Yeah, uh, And we can then, again, integrate our probability, our standard normal distribution, and so on. 